Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, this is a channel about culture, language and lifestyle. I mainly focus on the Philippines, but then I also do some videos about the UK as well, because these are the only two countries that I can talk about accurately with some knowledge, because I've spent a lot of time in both of these countries and I've got strong family ties with these countries. If you like the sound of this channel, please make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on any new content that I upload. In today's video, we're going to be talking about loan words in languages and basically how they work and that they're a lot more common than you might think in basically every language. This is because some people have been commenting on uh, some of my videos where I was speaking in Tagalog and they were saying that some of the words that I was using uh, weren't Tagalog and that they were you know, Spanish words because they were loan words. And then also my video that I did about um, English words that have a different meaning in the Philippines when I mentioned the word clique, some people said that that's not an English word because it originates from the Philippines so it can only be like a Tagalog word. Now there's nothing wrong with any of these comments, I really appreciate everyone's comments and all the feedback, but it just seems that some people aren't completely clear with how loan words work. Also some people were just saying that they're there are more pure Tagalog ways of saying some of these words that I was using when I was um, speaking in Tagalog, which is true, you know, if you're going to say um, linguaje, that's like a loan word from Spanish, but then you could also say wika, which is kind of a more pure Tagalog word. When I'm talking about loan words in this video, uh, just make sure that you know that this is just my perspective and my interpretation from research that I've done. And also in other videos, don't take everything I say as completely factual. You know, I'm not a know-it-all, I don't know everything, but I just like to share information that I know with you all. So to answer the question, if a loan word can become like an official word in another language, if any word is added to a dictionary in whatever language that is, regardless of its origins or whether that word might already exist in another language, it shouldn't make any difference, that word could become an official word in a new language, so even though trabajo is like a Spanish word, it could also be a Tagalog word as well, just borrowed from Spanish. Um, just because it's Spanish doesn't mean it can't be an official Tagalog word too, as well as Spanish. Lots of Filipinos think that all the borrowed words from Spanish aren't Tagalog words because, you know, they're from another language, so they can't exactly be pure Tagalog words, uh, which they're not, they're not pure Filipino words, but they can become officially recognised words in the Philippines and can become official words in that language, added to, you know, all dictionaries. Usually with loan words in languages, the spelling is often different in the language that has been added to and often the pronunciation as well, like with the word trabajo that I mentioned earlier, the spelling is different in Tagalog and then with other words like coche, the spelling is completely different in Tagalog to what it would be in Spanish where the word originally comes from because in Tagalog the alphabet is a bit different, there's less consonants, there's no uh, J, there's no C, there's no Z in Tagalog. Uh, I think there's a few others as well, there's a few other consonants that aren't in Tagalog, you know, that's just thinking on the top of my head. Also, often the pronunciation is completely different with words like uh, Dios, for God, in Spanish they will say it as Dios, but then with Filipinos, especially when they're speaking quickly, they'll just say it as kind of one syllable, they'll just say Jos, so it's completely different the pronunciation to what it would be in Spanish to the point where Spanish people probably couldn't even understand that word if a Filipino said it. Jos. Jos? Jos. Dios. No, that don't sound like... Let me say, Dios. Ah, okay, Dios, God, you say Dios. Uh-huh, we say it Jos. Jos. Some borrowed words from other languages often have a different meaning too, like with the word siempre in Tagalog it means of course and then in Spanish it will mean always. And it's almost like when Filipinos heard people speaking Spanish from generations ago, they didn't really ask what it meant and then just interpreted it differently. That's the only reason I can think of how it ended up having a completely different meaning. But this is really common with a lot of loan words in Tagalog. They'll sound similar to what they are in other languages, not just Spanish loan words as well. There's a lot of Malay loan words in Tagalog and Chinese loan words that will sometimes even have not just a different pronunciation and spelling, but sometimes even a completely different meaning, like with the word siempre. The thing is though, even if a loan word has the exact same, you know, spelling and pronunciation to what it would in its original language, that doesn't mean it can't be an official word 
in a new language as well. So most of the time loan words are added to languages when there aren't any translations of that word. So for example with the word kilig in Tagalog there wasn't any um, exact translation in English to that word so it ended up being added into the Oxford English Dictionary and became an officially recognised word in English as well as a Filipino word. And just because that word originates from the Philippines doesn't mean that it can't be an English word too. Another reason why there's loan words in languages can be for just a simpler way of saying something. So for example, with the way how you can say however or but in Tagalog, the pure Tagalog way is, I can barely even say this word, but munit. It's a really hard word to pronounce, I can't really pronounce it at all. So they ended up in the Philippines, Filipinos kind of adopted um, the word pero from Spanish just because it's a lot easier to say than the, you know, the pure Tagalog way. But just because there's already a word for this in Tagalog doesn't mean there can't be another way of saying this in Tagalog and pero can still be an official Tagalog word even though it's got the same, you know, spelling as Spanish and even though there's already another word for this in Tagalog, it can still be an official word. It doesn't make any difference. Even with the English way of saying this word, there's two ways of saying it. You can say however, or you can say but, and it's exactly the same in Tagalog. You can say, you know, the pure Tagalog way that I can't really pronounce, or you can say pero, which is a lot easier to say. And both are just as correct as each other. English has the most loan words out of any language. It's a perfect example of a language that has lots of loan words in it. Out of all the words in English, it's 29% uh, Latin, 29% French, 26% Germanic languages, 6% Greek, 6% other unknown languages, and 4% derived from proper names. So there's hardly any words in English that are just, you know, pure English words. Nearly all the words in English come from other languages, but then quite often the, you know, the pronunciation and spelling has changed, and so they've kind of become just English words anyway. But then again, even if the spelling was the same in English to what it would be, to the original language that it was borrowed from, it's still an English word. I'm just going to go through now some of these words in English that come from languages that you just wouldn't expect at all. So the word ciders in the alcoholic drink comes from Hebrew. The word average is in middle ground comes from Arabic as well as the words admiral, alcohol, lime, mattress, orange, so the fruit and the colour uh, comes from Arabic. Many other really common English words are from Arabic and there's lots of Persian English words also. Let's pick out some more random English words from languages you wouldn't expect at all. The word sauna comes from Finnish language and then this word is also used in other languages too. The word emoji is from Japanese, the word cookies are from Dutch and basically every English word is originally from another language. Tagalog is a language as well that has many loan words, not just from Spanish, there are lots of loan words in Tagalog from Malay, from Chinese and from English. There are many loan words from lots of other languages too in Tagalog. With a lot of the loan words in Tagalog there are, you know, synonymous words that are kind of pure Tagalog like I was mentioning earlier with, you know, with munit and pero, there's two ways of saying that one kind of pure Tagalog way and then one borrowed word. And then I do get when some Filipinos are saying that people seem to be forgetting the pure Tagalog ways of saying words. Mark commented on one of my videos, shout out to him, he said that there are a lot of Filipino forgotten words, so real Tagalog words. So in Tagalog there's wika for language, and then the, you know, like the loan word is linguaje, and there's aklat for book, and then the borrowed word would be libro, and then there's paaralan, and then escuelahan, um, as a loan word for school. But then, even then, it's escuelahan is still different to Spanish because in Spanish they would say it as escuela. Um, but then in Tagalog they add the han at the end and then they pronounce it a bit differently to Spanish. So it is still kind of more authentic in Filipino. They have their own way of saying it and their own way of spelling it. And then Mark also replied to his comment saying that most of the Tagalog words have been forgotten. Which is kind of true. The thing is, languages are always evolving. With loan words, that really contributes to this, and that's nothing we can change. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I kind of like loan words in languages, especially in Tagalog and in Filipino languages, because it really represents the history of the Philippines. And no one should be ashamed of history in their in their country. You know, we shouldn't erase the past. There's nothing wrong with there being lots of Spanish origin words in Tagalog and other Filipino languages. 
It just represents the Philippines and their culture and what Filipinos have been through. The main point I'm trying to make from this video is that loan words are official words in whatever new language it becomes a word in. You know, telling Filipinos that they should stop using Spanish loan words is like telling English people or Americans that we should stop using French words or we should basically stop using all English words because nearly all English words are from other languages like I was saying earlier. Someone even commented on my video about English words that have a different meaning in the Philippines. They said that colleague is a stolen word in English, but it's not stolen, it's just a borrowed word. That's literally how all languages work. All languages share words from other cultures and other languages. I wasn't guessing at anyone by making this video, I just wanted to, you know, share my thoughts on this matter and educate you all on this. I hope you enjoyed this video and or found it informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.